Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. So far we looked at various time series forecasting benchmark methods. We looked at the average method, the naive method and the seasonally naive method. But so far we have not looked at a method which allows our forecasts to increase or decrease over time. So sometimes our data may show trend in it and our forecasting methods so far are not allowing that increasing or decreasing trend in our forecasting. So it will be useful if we incorporate that increase or decrease in our forecasting method and the drift method of forecasting exactly does that. It is a variation of the naive method that we saw earlier where our forecasts were equal to the last observed value. But in this case, we also allow any increase or decrease in the series to be incorporated in our forecasting. And we include uh, the average change that we see in the series in our forecasting. So here is uh, the intuition of uh, this method. So our forecasting for the next period time at time t plus h given the information that we have until time t is equal to the last observed value of y at time t plus we include a drift in the method which is our forecasting horizon h and y t minus y1 over time t minus 1. Here's an example of uh, this method. So our yt is here and time period t is here. So this is q1, q2, q3, and q4. So our value in the first quarter is 2 and our value in quarter 4 is 5. Okay, so what is our forecast for quarter 1 next period? So first we have to see our forecast for Q1 will be equal to whatever we observed previous period and our observed last period value is 5 and then we have to include the average change that we observed during this period of time from here to here. Our forecasting horizon for Q1 will be 1 because we are forecasting one period ahead and our observed value last period is 5 minus the observed value in the first period which is 2 right so what was the change that we observed during this time and we divided by time periods which are in this case 4 1 2 3 and 4 time periods minus 1 right so our prediction is that this value is 6 for q1 and for q2 we're going to do the same thing 5 plus in this case our forecasting horizon is 2 and this is the slope the historical change that we observed so our forecast is 7 in this case so our forecast for q2 is 7. all right so this was the drift method and we forecast that in the q1 our sales value will be 6 and in the quarter 2 our sales value will be equal to 7. All we are doing here is we are using the naive method which is our last observed value which was 5 in this case and then we are calculating the observed change during uh, this period the historical data and we are incorporating uh, that change which is the average change that we observed historically and this change is the drift so our forecast is that uh, next period our sale will be equal to the naive method whatever we observed last period plus the drift in uh, the sales we'll see that uh, whenever there is a kind of a trend in the series this method is pretty useful so these were the four benchmark methods of forecasting and in each case i showed your example to give you intuition behind uh, these methods in the next video i'm going to show you how to use all of these forecasting methods in r all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye